In whole, David Canegata III is described as stern but easygoing, spiritual but didn't shy away from conflict. Most of all, what transcended to his daughter Nicole was his love for life. He was a Boy Scout, and she too learned to love the outdoors. But one thing father and daughter didn't share were their feelings about war. I still hate the fact that this war is going on. I think it's a pointless war. I support the troops above anything else. I do support them. I just think that it's you know, a pointless war and it needs to be stopped. And it shouldn't have even began in the first place. You see, partisans aside, Lieutenant Colonel David Canegata grew up drawn to camouflage. My dad had always been a patriotic person and Growing up, he used to have G.I. Joes, even ironed his G.I. Joes uniform. It was only a matter of time before he followed the impressions left of the combat boots of that of his father and brother, and enlisted. And like his father and brother, Kanegata was called to tour overseas. At 50, he was stationed in Afghanistan. It was supposed to be non-combat duty. He would not want to praise him, praise the people and that he represent and the people that have gone before him. Morris Moorhead, colleague and now director of Veteran Affairs, spoke to Kanegata before he left. It was just a pleasant conversation. I said, hey, go ahead, you know, keep your head down, you know, and be safe and come back to us. So, yes, sir, I'll do that, you know. But Kanegata didn't come back. While en route back to Afghanistan from Iraq, gunfire erupted in the Diyala province northeast of Baghdad. The Black Hawk helicopter carrying Kanegata and 11 other servicemen was shot out of the sky and crashed. All men died, including fellow Virgin Islander Sergeant First Class Floyd Lake on January 20, 2007. It's been more than two years since Nicole's father died, and it's holidays like these that are especially difficult. For the survivors, I would say, sometimes it just, it's kind of hard because, you know, it, it's an emotional day for us. And it's another reminder, at, at some way, in some way it's another reminder that our loved one is no longer here with us. And so, for me, I never really, I can't say appreciated, but it didn't hit close to home like Veterans Day, Memorial Day, until after my dad died. For the father and daughter that shared so many passions together, their laughter is quieted by the canopy trees and strained from the concrete slab that is Kanegata's final resting place. This is his grave site. Due to the horrific nature of the crash, unidentifiable remains of the 12 men were buried collectively in the seemingly endless lines of gravestones that date back to Civil War at Arlington Cemetery. And so, pieces of him remain at Arlington, pieces at the Christiansted Cemetery, and pieces in Nicole and all the lives he touched. Michael Nisman, News 2.